I'd like to spend the next few minutes discussing how parcels can be used for drainage areas. If you notice in my drawing here, I have a, I have a project and it's basically made up of polygons which represent our drainage areas. If you take these polygons or polylines, and actually if you take a look at how these polylines are generated, you'll notice that they're not closed polylines. They're just, um, you know, they all touch and they all connect, but they're not actually closed, so this way they don't wrap and you don't have two lines on top of one another. If you take those polylines and turn them into parcels, you'll see that when you pick the parcel area label, it actually picks up and selects the entire parcel. And it has an adjoiner, so it's those, those two adjoining areas share the same line. So what's nice about this is that when you modify or edit this line, you're actually changing the area of, of the drainage area. Okay, So that, that's pretty simple, it's just you know, using parcels, um, going to parcels, and creating parcels from objects, and selecting the polylines. But where you can take the parcels to the next level is to use some additional features, and that's user-defined properties. So if you take a look at the settings I have set up in my drawing, I have this user-defined property classification, which is a feature of the parcels. Inside of this, I've created a classification called drainage areas. That contains the coefficient value and the time of concentration value. So basically all you do is you right click on user defined properties, you select new, and then once you have that, you right click down below and you select new here, and you can create a new user defined property for the parcel. Once you have that information, you can then assign it to your parcel. So if we take a look at this parcel here, I pick the area label, I right click on it and go into parcel properties. You can see here that I have drainage areas and under drainage areas I've got um, the structure outlet number, I've got the C value and I've got the time of, time of concentration value. So once you figure those out it's a simple matter of taking your, your polygon. So if we take uh, this these polylines and I go to parcel and let's go ahead and I'm going to go to parcel, I'm going to create objects, and I'm going to select the parcel style I have, which is set up for my drainage areas. I'm going to select the area label style uh, that is set up for drainage areas. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then I'm going to, let's go ahead and pick some other ones here. Let's pick this one, and I'll select this one, and make sure I, I'm picking them all so that they, they all create a polygon for me. Okay. Again, choosing the drainage area and the drainage area label that we have set up. Okay. So it's created this parcel area or this parcel label here. And all I have to do is right click on it go into parcel properties and change the you know, C value <clears throat> to you know whatever it is that I've, I've calculated the time of concentration um, you know maybe this is structure um, EX1 for existing structure 1 and so you're creating the parcel area you're, you're adding the user defined properties okay pretty simple um, the area label you can see here that we're using is pulling in those user defined properties. So let's take a look at that real quick just to show you what that looks like. So if I go to this drainage area label style and go ahead and edit that current selection here, you'll see that it's made up of uh, the drainage area, which if you take a look at that is just the parcel area. All right, so I can have it set to acres, I can have it set to square feet, uh, I can have whatever precision I need for that area. The coefficient is actually the C value. So that C value comes from that user defined property that we set up. Okay. Now what's really cool about this is that I can take these parcels and I can add a parcel area table. So if I add a parcel area table, that table is also set up as drainage area. I'm going to come out here and I'm going to select the parcels that I want. So let's go ahead and using this parcel area label I can come in here and select all these parcels, go ahead and right click and add this table and you'll see the table now contains all the information about my drainage areas. 
So you got my drainage area ID, I've got my structure number, I've got my drainage area in acres, I've got my uh, C value, and I've got my time of concentration value. So now I've got a table that I can actually copy and paste out into Excel and use in my drainage computations if I want, or actually just use a table for labeling my parcels, uh, my drainage area parcels on my plan set. So again, it's just another way of using parcels outside of using them for lots, use them for drainage areas.